Okay, I didn't think it was ever going to record. She's sad because somebody's outside without her. What are you doing? Okay. Kitty's not around. I don't know where she's at. Down the basement, I think. Because I haven't seen her since I've been home. Heidi's going to cry like a baby. Um, he's just outside. That's all. Work was kind of uh, hectic today since we didn't work yesterday. And, um, but we got it done. Yay. And I got home and I just did dad's uh, bills. I got to put stamps on those here. And I had myself some dinner. I did one of those look in the refrigerator and see what I had. I found a baked potato, which was baked Friday. Where's my fridge? Um, an ear of corn that we cooked a couple days ago. And I cooked myself a cup of hot dogs. I need to make a, a shopping list for tomorrow. But I don't have the gumption to do that right yet. I have billing to do for my business. I have it all here. Wait, look. I have it all folded. I just have to get them all in envelopes and put... Did I just see them? So, lots of them. Lots of them. Oh. I brought this in here to show you. I was going to throw it away, and I'm like, if you have not tried these... I had a dollar off coupon... And there's only three in a box, but, oh my God, I have a box of the classic ones in the freezer yet. Me and Dad each had one last night, and then I just ate the last one out of this box right now. And they have something called double caramel and double chocolate, almond, and classic. They have four kinds. Oh my God. Um, I just want to show you that. Anything else? Oh yeah. Um... Mail. Thank you. Why do I have that in here too? Why did I, some of the stuff I don't even know why I brought in here? Uh, Miss Trixie is in for the coupons. I haven't opened it yet, but I know that's what's in here. Thank you, Miss Oops Pa Katie. I actually have a postcard around here. I've been meaning to send you, and I put it somewhere. And do you think I can find that bad boy? No. But thank you. Isn't that beautiful? What kind of flowers are those? Lupins. These are lupins. Um, and we got a gradu graduation thing for my cousin. I'll show you his picture. They live out in Oregon. He, uh, there he is. But he's always been, he's always wanted to be a firefighter and he's done the Explorer. So he's kind of been doing stuff with the firefighters for years. So, his name is Michael. And then I get home from work. And my dad is out back talking to some people who did not look familiar to me. It's like a man and two men and a woman. And he comes in with some papers in his hand. And I said, who is that? He said, that was the INM people. I said, who? Because I know who the INM people are, but I thought maybe I heard him wrong. And he goes, it's the INM people. I said, what do they want? And INMs are Indiana, Michigan power people. And he goes, well, apparently this is what's happening. They're putting new lines in because the line goes right through a backyard. And they own, they have an easement 25 feet out of the line. That's considered the property that they can do what they want with. And... So this year will be the last year I ever, well, it's already gone, it's already done bloom. There's our flowering crab apple tree, which we've had since I was a kid, right, in, right underneath the lines. Because when, you know, when Dad planted it, you know, this big 30-some-odd years ago, he did not think that about the lines then. And uh, so that's going to be taken out. It's a beautiful tree, too. It blooms so pretty. I will miss. I was. I was greatly saddened by that. And our shed is right under by the lines, but they will pour us a new slab and put us up a new shed. Um, 
So it's it's going to be it's I guess all it starts in August. They're going down and talking to everybody uh, along here because they got to give them paperwork, the legal paperwork, and a dollar. Dad's like they gave me a dollar. I'm like, why'd they give you a dollar? So I was reading the paperwork. It it has to do with the easement. I don't know. So those people have their work cut out for them because it's gonna they're taking down these old wooden poles and putting up metal ones and running all new lines. So it's going to be um, interesting. I guess August is when they're going to go down and clear out everything they have to clear out and rebuild what they have to rebuild. And then September is when they actually start putting up the new poles and lines. Our neighbor, Tom, my dad's friend, his garage was this close to having to be, have to be taken down. The line ran right. Uh, he was, oh, he was lucky. Now our neighbors next door, their whole back fencing and shed have to be brought in. It's going to be a pain for a lot of people under these lines. Yeah. See, it's something they haven't had to enforce for years because they've never had any problems, but now they have to redo all this stuff. They have to enforce all these rules and make everything right. But oh well, I guess that's what's got to be done. Luckily, when they take down our old shed, we'll have a slab out there, um, which, I don't know, we could maybe put a little fire ring or something on it. I don't know what we're going to do with that slab. I don't even know where we're going to put our new shed. Who knows? Oh, guess what I put on my Kindle last night? A Scrabble. It was 99 cents. I'm like, I'm so all over the Scrabble. It's me versus the computer. I only played two games last night because I only just noticed it at like 10.30 last night. And I'm like, I can scrabble on my Kindle, really? And you can play uh, two people on the same Kindle, but um, I like playing the computer. Um, I only played two games. I won one. It won one. I got stuck with two freaking Vs. It's hard to get. Who's out there? Dad's outside. The neighbor guy came over to mow this hill around our garage, which is hard for my dad to mow, so Bill comes and mows it for a beer, a couple beers. He works for beer and food. We feed him. He has brought, brought in two dishes when he came. Uh, brought in a couple of his dishes that he's taking food home in and grabbed a beer and went outside. Now they're outside chatting. He goes, hey, you got pink in your hair. I'm like, yeah, he goes, I like it. Then he went back out. I could so take a nap, but I have stuff to do. Tomorrow, we got to get up, take Dad's car to the car dealership. They're putting on new tires because he needs it all done before his trip on Friday because he leaves early Friday morning. And once I drop him, once we drop the car off, I go to the post office. I have a few little packages I'm sending out. Nothing grand. Um, uh, and then we gotta go to Myers. Yeah, I don't know where else we have to go. Myers is the most important because that's where I'm going grocery shopping at to get some stuff. I'm gonna call Lizzie here after I get done doing this. Have a little chat with her. I'm done babbling, people. Thanks for all the comments lately. I know I haven't. I with the company, just I haven't commented back, but I love them all. I'm a dork. I can remember to take my new CD to my car too. Dang it. I'm so tired. Tired. Okay. Sayonara. See you later. And they're going outside.